um, pressure stops bleeding. It's one of those things in medicine that we've known for a long time. It's one of the things that, that you know, it's a truth in medicine that's true today and it'll be true in a hundred years. Pressure stops bleeding. So what we really want the citizen to do, how do you stop bleeding if you're on the side of the road or in, in the middle of the woods and, and waiting for someone to come help you is, is you, you have to put pressure on the bleeding. There, there's a couple things about that that people need to understand. Um, number one, you got to understand a little bit about the anatomy. Uh, the major blood vessels, the ones that will cause bleeding to the point where you're going to die, are always deep under the skin near the bone. So they're always down and they run right along major bones. That means that you have to apply a lot of pressure. It's not just a little bit of pressure. It's not, it is a significant amount of pressure. Uh, number two, it's, it may cause some discomfort and that's okay. You're not doing any damage. You're not hurting them. You're actually saving them. And number three, you have to hold it for a long time, right? You have to make sure you're holding pressure for long enough that the clotting process starts. How long is that pressure? As long as you can. I mean, it's, it's until we get there, you know, or until you have, you can't hold it anymore. Or, what people have a tendency to do is they, they want to come up and put a bandage on a bleeding wound. A bandage doesn't stop bleeding. All it does is soak up blood. And again, that blood that it's soaking up into that bandage, it should be in your body. It shouldn't be being soaked into the, the bandage. We want it to stop. So before you put the bandage on, before you uh, make something look pretty, you want to put pressure on it. And that pressure is what works. If you don't get the bleeding stopped, even if you slow the bleeding, maybe you buy that person enough time uh, to, until we can get there and, and completely control the bleeding. And then some bleeding can't be controlled. It, it's, it's too, the, the wounds are too big. The, the, the artery is too large. The vein is too large. That's where we look at tourniquets, right? And even still, if you have a wound that needs a tourniquet, I want to put pressure on it while I'm getting the tourniquet in place. Because if you're free flowing blood while I'm working on getting my tourniquet, you're dying while I'm getting my tourniquet in place. We want to stop the dying. We stop the dying we stop by stopping bleeding with pressure. And then we apply the tourniquet, which then further controls it. That's the key.